Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the cry of Armenians. Artsakh continues to struggle for the realization of its right to self-determination. Aray Karutunyan, Burchamut, Armenian city in exile. An underground city has been discovered in Mardin in Western Armenia. Next week in Tbilisi, there will be events dedicated to the 107th commemoration of the victims of genocide of Armenians, Armenian community of Georgia. The National Library Week starts on April 18. Today is Daniel Varujan's birthday. Western Armenia, you have not yet allowed me to say everything that I have seen in my 18 months of suffering, and yet I need to express to the whole world what my eyes have seen and what no one has seen since the world existed to such an extent that having heard me, humanity will lost from horror and the migrant's pen will be broken on paper. I saw an endless and mournful possession of young people, old people, women and children, sense of separation and murder, a god in heaven, people on earth turned into violent beasts, as if of blood and ocean of crimes, the river which rose in a number of corpses. I survived so that the groans of thousands of cut throats from my throats could be heard on the four sides of the world, so that the flame of help Christ's praise of revenge then shone in the fading gaze of thousands of Armenian women flashed from the depths of my eyes. The material is fully available on our official website. President of the Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, hosted the members of the Academic Council of Artsakh State University. The problems of the region in the context of recent geopolitical events were discussed. President Harutunyan presented the challenges facing Artsakh, spoke about the steps being taken. Artsakh continues to struggle for the realization of its right to self-determination without interrupting the process of independent state building. The President of Artsakh noted, issues related to the socio-economic development of Artsakh improvement of a demographic situation, problems of the scientific and educational sphere, and public life were also discussed. Burchamut, located on the eastern bank of Beirut River, is one of the most dynamic cities in Lebanon. The city of Burchamut was founded by survivors of the genocide of Armenians in the early 1913s. Armenian refugees fleeing to Ottoman pogroms initially found refugee in tent settlements, located in the area adjacent to Karantina and Mar Mikhail in 1913s. Nevertheless, after constant pressure from landowners to excavate the territory and numerous attacks, Armenian organizations sought to buy land in Burchamut and plan to build a new house for those people. What was considered a temporary exile will soon become a prolonged one. An underground city belonging to 2nd and 3rd centuries, where there are places of worship, grain barns, reserves and underground passages, was discovered in the Mardin country of Midiat in Western Armenia. In Midiat, which resembles an open-air museum, with its history and culture, visitors feel a magical atmosphere in which millennial stone houses, taverns and churches still stand. For the discovery of the underground city, excavation began in the province two years ago. As a result of the excavation, 100-meter tunnel and 49 rooms were discovered, some of which are churches and places of worship. There are many similar examples of underground cities in different regions of Western Armenia. April 24 marks the 107th commemoration, one of the most terrible crimes in the history of mankind. Pickets and demonstrations were held in front of Turkish embassies in various capitals of many civilized countries of the world, demanding that Turkey recognize its bloody history, be convinced of crimes committed by its ancestors, and be held accountable in accordance with international law for the crimes committed by them. Similar events have been held in the Georgian capital since 2005, and every April 24, a rally is held in front of Turkish embassy. On April 24, members of the Armenian community of Georgia will organize a planned march, and the road of torchlight procession, which have become a tradition for many years, will change and the final point will be the Kachkar monument in Tbilisi, dedicated to the genocide of Armenian people. The Armenian Library Association will hold a traditionally celebrated National Library Week in Armenia from April 18th to 25th, which will this year dedicated to the 125th anniversary of the great poet Yerushe Charent. The annual Professional Culture Week organized by Armenian National Agrarian University was held for the first time in 2002. It occupies a special place among library culture events. Regional community professional university libraries of the public will take part in a Saturday. According 
going to the separate programs, meeting, discussions and presentation of books, events dedicated to important culture anniversaries, poetry hours, exhibitions, quizzes, professional tours to libraries of Armenia. Book denotations will be held in libraries these days. On April 25th, the closing of Saturday and summing up will take place. Daniel Varjan was born on April 20, 1884, in Bergenik village of Sebastia province of Western Armenia. He became literate in a rural gymnasium and since 1896 continues his studies in Kastadnapol. Daniel Varjan saw the traces of pogroms organized by Sultan Hamid. Among those persecuted in those days was the poet's stepfather. The essence of his work of 20th century, Western Armenian poet Daniel Varujan was the glory of beauty and strength. On April 24, 1915, Daniel Varujan was among those intellectuals and public figures who were arrested by Turkish police. On August 26, he was brutally murdered by the unorganized conspiracy with the poet Ruben Sevang and three other exiles. Although Daniel Varujan's life was interrupted at a young age, he created poetry of great social content and perfect artistic forms. Now musical part Armenian folk song Gorani Ensemble Garmin Festan The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.